Hey guys, so Ollie, where are we? Where, where are we? Target. Target, are you excited? Yeah. Kid loves Target, what can I say? She is her daughter, mother's daughter. Anyway, so we're gonna go to Target and I'm actually gonna do it inside the dressing room. Um, I haven't done one of these before, I so forgive me if it doesn't her. go well. She's apparently going to the Barbie room in Target. Probably means the bathroom because she likes to go to public restrooms and every place we go. Don't know why. That'll hopefully phase out as she gets old and realize how disgusting it is. Wants to go frozen room. And she wants to go to the frozen room. I don't know. Cooler section. Anyway, so we're gonna do it inside the dressing room. They're gonna come with me, but I'm not gonna make it a big deal. Yeah. Anyway, so I do want to say though, I was starving because I haven't eaten yet today. We had like a vegan meal last night and it was just light, so I'm starving. I just did the Little and Larry's a complete cookie. This is a double chocolate. It wasn't the worst protein thing I've ever had, but it definitely wasn't my favorite. I want to try the chocolate chip one because I feel like that was the one that everybody recommends, but I just really love chocolate, so I got the other one. But it has no dairy, no egg, no soy, no GMO, non GMO, and it's a vegan. So, I mean, for a vegan protein cookie, I mean, it was pretty good but it's not my favorite. But I mean, if you're looking for something that's vegan and it's gonna pack protein fill you a little bit, this wasn't too bad. So I did just eat this, I did eight grams of protein and five grams of fiber. I brought them snacks and I did treat myself to a Diet Dr. Pepper because um, why not? You know, I hate Diet Coke. I do not think Diet Coke tastes anything resembling regular Coke, but Diet Dr. Pepper is pretty close to Dr. Pepper. All right, we're gonna go inside, give her snacks, give them both snacks while we're in the dressing room. That is my goal to keep them occupied. And so let's go inside. from the plus size line. It was super stretchy and really soft. Um, looking at it on camera, I like it better than I liked in person, but it wasn't anything special. I think they were like two for 14, so not bad if you need a simple t-shirt, but I didn't end up getting it, but it was nice. This shirt is like a mom shirt to me. I once again like it a lot better on camera now than I liked it in person. Um, I thought it was really pretty. I liked the color. It looks like something that would be good for like a first trimester during pregnancy before you kind of have your little belly come in. Um, I liked the lace detailing. It was really nice. This wasn't in the plus size section. A lot of the things that I picked up weren't in the plus size section because I liked them better. This is from Knox Rose and it was in a double X. Um, but I feel like if you're a 16 or an 18, you could easily fit into that size. So, this shirt made me look just like this giant, washed out, like, like, saltine Ritz cracker. I don't know, like some just giant marshmallow, some sort of like food, around food. I just, it just was not a flattering thing on me. And for whatever reason, the collar would not like sit on my body it would just cost baby wouldn't sit on my body it just constantly poofed up and i don't know if it's because it was like looser up front than the bottom but the cut was so weird it just cut like a really round like shape Ugh, just not and that was a plus size shirt now this shirt i really liked the style of it it was really stretchy but the lace on the bottom would band. So like the top of it was really stretchy, but the bottom was not stretchy at all. Um, it was pretty and it was cute. I just wish that everything stretched. And I should have tried a different style on. I feel like the stripes just made me look a bit wider, but not terrible. This though, I love. This was my favorite of the whole try-on session. It was so pretty. I love the ruffles. I love the cherry print. I feel like cherries are becoming huge this season. It covered up the boobs nicely, which I appreciate. It was so nice. It cinched at the waist. I thought it gave me a really nice shape. Oh, I love this. Go and try this on in your local Target if you see it, because it is so pretty. But it's something I feel like I have to get dry cleaned because it's the type of fabric that would shrink.
you can tell I love it. <laughs> and this is another of those Ava and Viv shirts. Once again, seeing them on camera, I feel like I should have gotten a couple just to have, to for comfort, just for the, you know, like throw on with leggings and be my mom's shirts. The only thing I didn't like is that is they would easily show my visible belly line, which I'm not super comfortable showing with yet. Yeah but not bad. This I actually thought was really pretty on and I feel like it would have looked really cute with a belt, like a brown belt cinching at the waist. Um, but the sh sleeves kept riding up. It wasn't something that was really practical no matter what I did. My, it would just constantly ride up which was really annoying and just wasn't going to work out. Although I really liked the print of it and I liked how it kind of looked on my body. It just, it would be annoying. Also, please ignore my toddler walking around with clothes on. She wanted to play dress up too. This next thing I wanted to like so badly. It was so cute and I love jumpsuits. But there were just bits that I hated. It was so weird. It was just like nothing was cut for my figure today. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm turning into an apple shape and I don't know how to fit my body in clothes anymore. So it was really great up top for like parts of it were good up top, I guess I would say, and then other parts were really too big. And then like the belly just kind of bunched and made me look like pregnant or way larger than I am. I know I have a belly, but it just looked even bigger. It just wasn't cute. I didn't know if shapewear could like fix just the awkward cut and fit of it as much as I just wanted it to work. There's just a lot of excess fabric in the belly and I just, I didn't think it would work. I was so sad though, because I really wanted to like it. Now this thing made me look like a giant freaking banana roll tamale. I don't know. But this, this, it was not attractive. This is that type of fabric that just shows every lump and bump going on. And it just wasn't, the color was not good. The cut was just not good. Granted, this wasn't a plus size item, so it wasn't necessarily meant for my body type, but it's still, nothing was working about it, nothing. Now this is round two. I got this shirt in the clearance section and this is from Knox and Rose. This is actually an extra large and I feel like it worked really well. I really liked the way it felt and looked and cut. It was stretchy. The only thing I wasn't wowed about was the fact that the like umpire waist, the baby doll section line or whatever kind of cut up right underneath my boob, but I feel like I get away with it. Now this thing I was so sad about. I wanted it to fit me so badly, but they didn't have my size. It was too big. As you can tell, I don't even think I could try to like get away with it because the waist is supposed to cinch in and it doesn't even come close. And I was so sad because I loved it. It was in a 2X and it just wasn't big, but it was from the plus size section. So if you were interested in this, go try it on because it was so incredibly cute and it's totally up my alley. Like I could rock it with leggings, which is what I wear pretty much every day. Ugh, I need it. I'm going to go to try Hunt It Down in my size because I loved it that much. This shirt was really pretty. I really liked the color of it. I thought it was really pretty for the springtime. I liked the cut. It was comfortable. It was lightweight. I have nothing really negative to say about this shirt except that it was $24.99 and it was just way too expensive for what it was. It didn't wasn't anything like spectacular. It was really pretty and cute, but it wasn't spectacular and definitely not worth the price. But it was in the plus size section, which was nice. And I thought they did a good job with it. Now the shirt made me freaking think of Jim Carrey in the mask, if you remember that. Let me know below. I just look like a middle-aged, sad woman. I don't know. It was so bad. Like, it looked so much better on the hanger. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. I've, I don't know what to say. I was speechless when I put this shirt on. It just made me look so bad. I don't know if it's just because I had no makeup on, but it was a no-go. Now, this one I liked a lot more, gave me a lot more shape. It was really cute. This is another one that I feel like would be really cute for like maternity. I think like the Empire Waist is like really making a comeback with um, things this year, fashion trends. Um, I thought it was really pretty. I thought it would be nice with, for spring if you like to wear white pants, this would be nice with it. Um, but you know, yeah, it, was, it was nice. It didn't wow me, but it was really cute. 
and this one was the last thing that I found from the clearance section. This is another thing from Ava and Viv, so this was technically the plus size one, and I want to say this was an X. Um, this was, yes. It was only like under nine dollars it was i loved the metallic threads in it it was comfortable it was stretchy but i just didn't think that i would probably get much use out of it for the next year i didn't know or the end of this year i didn't know if i would love it come next fall or winter so i didn't get it but it was nice okay so um i wanted to show you and quickly wrap up this video on what i ended up buying i only bought two things I just was kind of disappointed, I will say, with the selection that they had going on. I wish that they had a little bit more. I know it's kind of that awkward phase right now between winter and spring. Okay, I will in just a sec. Um, so it was kind of an awkward phase, but and I just feel like things are fitting me weird. <laughs> like the really bag up, big up top, and then just like my stomach, of course, I'm sure just has filled out, so it's like tighter there. I don't know. I don't know. You would have seen, so you'll understand. I I oh, it's beautiful, Ollie. Okay, so let me show you what I did get. I ended up getting the cherry dress because I thought it was so pretty. I love the ruffle. I love everything about this dress. Mm-hmm. Hold on. I got it in an extra, extra large, and this was twenty-four ninety-nine. Um, I feel like I do. It kind of looks similar to kind of like the wrap surplus dress that I have from Rue 21 that you guys saw in my like fall haul or something a while back but it's just too cute I had to get it Jazz and I are going on a little like vacation soon um with a group of friends so I think this will be kind of cute to bring along it's just happy and cute and sweet and I love the little cherries so I got it and then I ended up getting the Knox Rose uh shirt that this was on clearance for only like six bucks 688 and this is an extra large actually so i wish they had a double not because i don't think it was big enough but it just kind of cut i wonder if it would have been a little bit bigger for my boob area because it kind of cut a, like right under them so it looks a little weird but i just thought it was pretty um i thought it'd be kind of nice to be able to wear to church and you know velvet and me i can't say no to so i had to get it surprisingly i didn't buy anything that was actually considered like plus i did not like any of the plus stuff it just didn't look good. It didn't fit me right. I was really unhappy with that. Besides that one thing that I wish fit me, I wish I had it in my size. I'm gonna go look for that because I thought it was so pretty and I think it'd be pretty for Eleanor's first birthday. So I'm gonna try to go to the other Target and see if I can get my hands on that because I really liked that. But it was just too big. Okay, so I'll show you what the rest of stuff that I did get. I went in with intentions of only spending $45, which is what I think I had on my gift card. And I ended up spending 50, 60, 24. So it wasn't 65, 21. Never mind. It wasn't too terrible, but I did spend more. So I'll show you what else I got. I got this sweet swimsuit for Eleanor. This is a size 12 months, and it looks incredibly tiny. So I'm, I'm hoping it'll fit. Um, I'm going to have to try it on to see if it fits her before I like take the tags off and see if we have to go to 18 months. It just looks like cotton candy and it's like shimmery. I just thought it was cute. I was kind of disappointed with the swimsuits I have this year. Normally they have really, really cute ones. But, okay, hold on. But I really, I liked this one. I thought it was sweet. I'll probably buy her a couple more swimsuits, but this was kind of like a starting one. And this was only $11.99. This is Cat and Jack, by the way. Ollie, show them what you got. You got a necklace from Cat and Jack, and it says "Hooray" on it. It's really cute, and this was $4.99. It comes with a bracelet, and then she also got. What else do you have? I have a red toy. Well, that you got from Uncle Cory, but you got a pink bow in her hair. This bow was like the Valentine section, and it was a dollar, so it's cute. Oh, she always finds hair stuff there, so. She wants me to put this on real quick, so let me put it on. Hi, everybody. I am Queen Elsa. Queen Elsa Ollie. Queen Elsa Mommy. Okay. I show Come here. Part. She even puts her hair up. <laughs> She's such a girl. I didn't even teach her that stuff. I'm telling you what, guys. She just knows. 
Okay. Look at you. Here's your bracelet, madame. Look at you. You are so snazzy. What do you think? Glittery and beautiful. You're glittery and beautiful. Yes, you are. We did get a couple other things that weren't apparel. Well, one more is apparel. How freaking cute are these? I always need socks because I like don't have very many and then I just like wear them out throughout the winter. And uh, so I got these pair of ankle socks and these were like in the cheaper section. They were in the like sock section, but they were $1.50. But freaking pigs in rain boots. I'm dying. I'm dying. They're so cute. So these made me so happy. So I got a pair of these. And then I got, this is gonna be awesome for school. This is a play money set. I always wanna get them play money, but I just, I was worried about one, the actual like bills ripping because they were mostly paper. And I just wanted them to put the tiny coins in their mouth. Ugh. So this is cute because one, it comes in like a zip up bag and it's felt. So I don't have to worry about ripping and all that stuff. And Ollie has a cash register that she, that actually my brother gave her that was um, not mine. It was my favorite toy when I was a kid, but he found a duplicate because my parents ended up donating that. And I was so sad. So he found a duplicate one. And so this is now going to be her money that she can play with. So it's great to teach them about money. Are this was $3. Are you $3. No, we can use it tomorrow. So this was $3 and uh, it's great. I love their felt stuff. They have such good learning toys there. I'm telling you, go there for my toys. My favorite candy bar in the whole wide world is to take five. I can never find them. Found it. Gotta get one. Last but not least, I got yet another thing for my home. This was five dollars. I always pass these up, and then I always regret doing this. Um, hearth and hand, hearth and hand, the um, Magnolia Chip and Joe kind of line at Target came out with similar things like this during Christmas time. A lot more expensive. And if you buy these online, they're really pricey. But I found this one, and it's so pretty. It's freaking heavy, man. This is a heavy thing. I feel like the burlap string is not heavy enough. Or, you know, strong enough. This. Yeah, I know. I can't drop it and break it. This was $5. Super pretty. Obviously, you can take out the picture right now. There's just, like, a little cactus print in it. And I'll probably take out a pic picture and put, like, a picture of us as a family in it. On the castle. Oh, okay. I'll probably put a picture of our family in it and hang it up somewhere around there. So, but I love it. Love it. So excited. All right. That's officially it. That's all I got. That's the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I keep wanting to walk in the bedroom. It's really dark yeah. in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my crazy story. Um, I'm sorry that the clothing try on was just not very good. I was so disappointed with most of the clothes. It's like whenever I can actually afford stuff, I can never find things I like. I feel like that's an age old conundrum. So, oh well, oh well. Um, anyway, I at least hope you found some things or at least see things that you may still be wanting to try on because of course my body's different from your body. Everybody's body's different and everybody wears things differently. So go give it a try anyway. At least I showed you some of the styles that are going on there. I got a chatty Kathy over here too. Um, then I showed you some other fun things you can try to pick up on your own too. So uh, thank you guys so much. It would mean the world for me if you hit that subscribe button below and join our little family. Touch I'm trying you. to be more consistent and on videos. In this row and touch you. <laughs> I'm trying to be more consistent on videos. I do make one at least once a week. But I'm trying to do at least a couple more times a week. So if you're interested in my video and my content, then I really touch would appreciate here. if you subscribed down below. All the same touch here. And by that, she means the little clicker button, the little subscribe button. You guys know how to do it. And uh, let me guys know what you guys want to see. So um, talk to you guys all very soon. Bye, guys. Bye, friends.